Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits video. Uh, another making of video. So today we're going to be making this. So it's still spirits and it's their brand new, well it's not been that long, Sea Beast Spiced Rum. And it says uh, it's a subtly sweet rum flavouring with intense chocolate and vanilla, prominent cinnamon and clove notes with hints of coffee. Sounds great. So all you do is add this to vodka and bish bash bosh, you've got a spice one. So first things first, I've got my good trusty jug. We pour my vodka into the jug. Getting it up to 750 mils. Always near as damn it because sometimes you can't see. I really want to put the light on, didn't I? Yes, one of these days I'll learn. So, there's the vodka, there's the thing, we've got that, the essence. Four quid for this, makes three bottles, so £1.33 a bottle. So whatever you pay for your vodka, add this on top, and you've got a spice rum. At the, at the worst, it's going to cost you about 12 quid. If you get your, your vodka from abroad, or on um, duty, be quite a bit cheaper if you get it distilled if, you, if, you, if you've got an air still or t500 or whatever uh, even cheaper still as low as one pound 25 depending on what you've got obviously so just pouring this in and like i say wow you really do struggle with this so just take that into note that you can't see the bloody what's in the um you can't see how far it's going down wow let me phone I've not come across this before, so this is different. Um, let's go. Uh, torch. Yeah, I can see it now. Yes, so usually when you pour it in, you can actually see on the bloody bottle where you're at. Because it's so chuffing dark. A little bit more. Now you, you don't want to be pouring too much in because obviously that makes it really awkward. Um, so just something to note. The easiest way with this would be to pour into a big jug, over two litre jug and pour the lot in. Flipping ridiculous, that is a constant bugger all. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, so it's on it. Wow, that was awkward as hell. So, there's something, you know, and uh, oh, it's got a bloody nice taste to it. Just something to note, that is, that uh, if you come across that, uh, you'll need a phone or something on it. So, there you go, it's poured in, it's all at the bottom. Vodka there. Now, get a good swirl around. This will blend, so you, it is drinkable straight away. But better to leave it a week, um, really, I would say. Let it blend in properly. And as you can see, it's made a lovely dark spiced rum. The spiced ones, they aren't cheap, um, especially for 40% ones. Let me get that torch off. So, trusty bottle. Again, I recycle all my bottles. I don't buy new glass bottles, I don't see the need for it. Um, my trusty funnel. Ta da! Puppy in. See where it goes. Just 
just be wary at the bottom just to make sure that you haven't left any, you know, any of the, it's like a syrup, so you just need to make sure that none's left on the bottom. Because obviously this, this is flavouring your vodka into spiced rum. So we don't want any of it left. Don't leave any behind. I mean, you want the optimum taste, if you're being honest. So. And there it is. Let's have a smell. Mm, no. Smell, I can smell it, but it needs to blend a bit, so give it a shake. Leave it a week, jobs are good in. And uh, yeah, so you can make it from as cheap as, say, well, if you get your vodka for free, you can make it as cheap as £1.33 a bottle. Uh, <laughs> but if, if you make your own vodka, lovely. If you make your own distilled spirit, around about 250 a bottle, up to a maximum of about, about £11.50, under 12 quid a bottle. But still, for forty percent spiced rum and sea beast spice rum, that's still good, you know. And um, obviously, if you, if you don't want to go into that, the messing about of doing that, you know, uh, making your own distilled spirit, or you don't want to, you know, uh, that's a very interesting way. You know, it's a very interesting world to get into. And that's it from this um, beer video. Um, Thanks for watching. Uh, hope, hope these videos are interesting. If they're not, turn them off. Don't watch them again. But yeah, hope they're, hopefully they're interesting. And hopefully it, it brings you into that world a bit more, and it, you understand a bit more. I'm no expert. Love brewing's the best place to go. That and creative wine making, they're more the experts. But it's just uh, you know somebody showing you how it's done in a way that you may find interesting. Well, that's it for this review. Thanks for watching. Yeah, review, video. Thanks for watching, see you soon.